What's up, guys? This is episode 22 of the Nerd Boys Podcast, and uh, how's everybody doing today? Yo, 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 what it is, what it do, what it do? You know what it is, baby. <laughs> oh, we're just going to go through intros, get this uh, uh, recording started, because we have quite a bit of a show for you. Uh, Rabbit. Rabbit? D-E-D. Dead. Uh, <laughs> Nappy. <laughs> What? Yo, what's up? You know what it is. Forty, it was forty-one sub. Then somebody left. I'm, I don't know who keep leaving my channel. Like y'all want me to acknowledge all or something, but uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. What's up? How y'all doing today? You know, he just did. He just acknowledged y'all. So of course. Of oh, course. so you, so you alive? Bring me back to life, head ass, <laughs> rabbit. Oh, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Rabbit, a.k. Carrot Juice, a.k.a. D. A.k.k. J. Peter Cottontail. What it do, what it do? All right, I'm good. Oh, it's <laughs> guys. Yo, what it is, guys? This is guys, a.k.a. Weatherman J. Coming back at you again with these white vans. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in. Oh, what's up? Um, a couple of announcements before we get started. <laughs> Uh, this is AK, by the way, if you don't know. We're going to make that AK spray. Uh, uh, anyway, a uh, <laughs> couple of announcements. There will not be an episode next week. It is my wife's birthday. Even though we quarantined, I'm going to try to make it the best I can for her. And I don't think it's fair for me to ask the guys to give up their Sunday to record. So it is what it is. We'll just, uh, I don't know. We'll do maybe a separate video. Maybe not a... Uh, um, actual podcast, we might just do some uh, um, Uno or something. Who knows? We'll figure it out. Uno, want to get slapped in Uno? <laughs> you about to get really wrecked. Um. Okay. Well, we'll just start with the first thing on the docket: GameStop. Uh, GameStop. Uh, apparently thought they were quote unquote essential. Everybody knows. Uh, people who are still working throughout the uh, Bubble Boy season has been um quote unquote been you know called essential and games thought that they were uh their workers were quote unquote essential workers and wanted to force them their workers to go through the quarantine uh since then they have been told by the government to shut y'all shit down or we're gonna shut it down for you so you can still order stuff offline through GameStop, but all of their stores are closed so yeah I got a personal uh, problem with this. Let me let me let me talk at you viewers real quick. <clears throat> so I had an interaction this uh, motherfucking week with this motherfucking GameStop. <clears throat> I went online to purchase a month of PlayStation Plus for one of the homies. You know, um, a guy that we play with pretty regularly now. Um, his shit went out, and he don't shout out Rockman. Yeah, yeah, he he ain't currently got an income, you know, whatever, you know, it was a little $10, whatever, I'll, I do what I can for my friend, you know, um, he's a guy that we've been playing with pretty heavily, um, one of my favorite people to play with, I'm Dead by Daylight, and his shit ran out, ain't nobody trying to pop him the, pop him the uh, game share, whatever, anyways, so bought this shit off GameStop, right, uh, he goes to put it in, the code, like, says it goes through, doesn't fucking work, PSN isn't fucking responding. Um, their their call center now when you like call them is basically like, hey, nobody's here. Bye, click. Um, their online chat bot is dumb, and I can't do a refund through their online chat bot because I bought it through GameStop, right? I call GameStop's people. Their people basically said like, hey, um, you know, if there's you know higher call volume than normal, blah blah blah, whatever. If there's something that can be refunded or whatever you can do it through a local store and so as i'm waiting on hold for them i called the local store and the local store was like eh well bro you shit out of luck um basically we're only doing like essential business right now um what i can do for you is i can sell you a three-month card and i can come to the door grab your card and then bring it back to you and i'm like bro i'm not trying to buy a fucking three-month card i'm trying to get my ten fucking dollars back bro and so, as of now, no contact from PlayStation, uh, no contact from GameStop. Like, this is this is some shit, you know? Like, I understand, like, the whole country is going through some shit right now. But, like, 
everybody is at home playing their fucking playstations bro you think you would have some of your employees at home on their fucking work laptops or whatever answering fucking calls it's not that hard ak is doing that for his job right now he's working from home like it's not that hard it's literally like it's so fucking doable and um it's just it's real annoying because i i didn't have to but i went and spent another ten dollars on another code that ended up working for some reason that one just didn't fucking work um so like it's just really fucking annoying because it's like there's like no no support or anything right now especially for these companies that know that this time is going to be a very heavy traffic time for them like people need these guys' support and it's not being offered you know i mean uh i know where you're coming from but but there are stores that are essential that do sell the PSN cards. Walmart, CVS. Myers, right, Best right, right. Buy, I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. One hundred percent. Like I'm not trying to, you know, throw a wrench in your in your complaining, but I'm gonna throw a wrench in your complaining. Uh, just, dude, just fucking go to Walmart or Target and get that shit, bro. Like, yeah, but the reality of it is, bro, is like I'm not trying to get out to go do anything that isn't fucking essential for what I need to do, bro. Or just cash out and, Rockman at ten dollars and call it a day. Right. Which right. that wasn't an option. Or else I would have. That was that was my first my first like go to. Um either way. It's shitty that they not, not really it, trying it's to help. It's not you that at all. hard to set yeah. up some people from your call center at home with, you know, like laptops and stuff like that to keep your business operating, to keep your customers, you know, satisfied, stuff like that. And to keep your employees employed. Like I mean you know, like what happened to all those call call center people for PlayStation? Like, what are they doing now? You know, um, yeah, it's not yeah, that I'm hard. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite upset, but um, yeah. Anyways, fuck you, GameStop. <laughs> um, essential patient. Oh my god, I can't even talk, dude. Today has been a horrible day for Rabbit's uh, English, by the way. Um, <laughs> uh, GameStop is an essential business, um, just like liquor stores are an essential business. <laughs> liquor stores are all from there. <laughs> Like, Bats. dude, go home, get yourself a fucking, you know, like a, a 375 milliliter of fucking whatever you drink or beer, alcohol, whatever you be doing, and you're going to jump on the game. Guarantee you, bro. This is the most I've seen any of my friends on in the longest time. Usually I have about 20 to 30 of a, dude, I had 67 people on yesterday. That is out of the normal for this guy. I know y'all might have like 90 or 100, whatever, but I had 67 people. That is so weird because a lot of my people have multiple um, accounts. So I have multiple accounts of the same person on my PS4. So the fact that there was 67 people on, bro, bro, get your facts straight. Games are essential right yeah, now. Yeah, I was going to say nine, 93 is like low for me. Yeah. Well, my, my normal is about 30. So <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. So yeah, dude, dude, let give us, let us give these people something to do. We will buy games. We will buy the time. I mean, I don't. I just buy my shit online because I get it during, you know, Black Friday. So I have like two years saved up. But anyways, but if we're trying to help out our friends, we're trying to get them to play, bro. Like, what the fuck? We got to open your shit up, bitch. (laughs) Or at least your fucking your your support, man. Like people are out here in these times. They need they need customer support especially when you're closing all your fucking stores what if somebody made an online purchase and it you know something happens with it they need to contact you and your customer support for those online orders because everybody is being directed to online portals my company is directing people to online portals like like it yeah man it's just aggravating especially like i got four days off a week now because my job cut my hours in half like all I'm gonna be doing is at home playing the fucking game. Like, just this could be way, way more customer support from these guys, and it's just not being shown. Here's my thing. Uh, I'm gonna say my piece, and then I'm gonna let you speak, Rono. Um, here's my thing. Um, GameStop is notorious for overworking their people. This is true. This is facts. This is written. I had multiple friends who used to work for GameStop and say that they have the worst report with their employees. So the fact that people wanted to go home and uh, GameStop is keeping themselves open and the excuse they gave to keep themselves open was because they sold computer parts 
They said that they sold uh, mouse and keyboards. That means that they're essential for people who work from home. I don't know about yeah, you. That's dumb. I don't know about you, but when I'm thinking about getting a mouse and keyboard, my first inkling isn't going to GameStop. No. Nah. Right, right. So right. That's go to cro- Walmart and get that low low. That's a crock of shit. So um, if uh, GameStop doesn't want to kick people the uh, amount of their employees the amount of money to work in these type of conditions, then fuck them. Because I'm be honest with you, the only time I ever go to GameStop anymore now is to like get a nerdy T-shirt I can't find anywhere else because they bought Think Geek. I really don't buy games from GameStop like that. Or, or them chill ass Funko Pop. Yeah, true. Bruno, uh, how do I feel about this? <laughs> like I said before, if you don't want to be there, quit. If your job is putting you at risk, quit. I literally just made a video about this specific thing. Um. That needs to go on the employees as well. Not the government shouldn't have stepped up. The employees should have stepped up to the game stop to say we not doing this shit. So I'm gonna call out the employees on that one too. Um but like AK said, GameStop is known to do this shit. They're known to overwork their their own uh, customers. They're I mean not their customers, their employees, they're known for this shit. And I mean, they're overworking, oh, they're working their customers for that motherfucking oh, yeah. bottom dollar. Don't don't be surprised. Like I'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'll be 100. percent Don't be surprised when GameStop shut down within the next year and a half. Yeah, the right oh, is wrong with that shit. Oh, this I is probably, this is probably the nail in the coffin, especially with this type of situation. If anything happens with a job in this specific situation, shit gonna hit the fan for that for that place. GameStop will be shut down within a year, just because it is. And mark my words, I said that shit. Mark my March twenty eighth, twenty twenty. Yep. I I do not disagree whatsoever. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, GameStop <laughs> is being GameStop. I really don't care. So it is what it is. Um, Bleeding Edge is, has been released since the last podcast, and uh, it's been getting uh, pretty okay reviews. From what I've seen, the most average score is like an eight out of ten. The Metacritic is sitting at a 61. I think Steam review is sitting at a, like a 7 or 8 out of 10 or as well. I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, Bleeding Edge, for people who don't know, is an Xbox exclusive that is pretty much the brainchild of uh, Overwatch and uh, League of Legends. If those two were to have a baby, that what Bleeding Edge would be. So uh, Chrono, I think he is the most per- person who has the most time with this game. I'm playing it right now. <laughs> um, how do you feel? Do you think uh, the improvements? I don't think it's an eight out of ten, but I don't think it's a six out of ten either. It's literally, it's an average game. Um, the the two big problems is one, it needs a ranking system. It needs that bad. Oh, that's, it needs that bad. Terrible. And I don't, I don't think a game should drop without a rank. It first of all, it shouldn't have dropped without a leveling system. That's one first and foremost. At least if they had a leveling system, they could kind of separate great players from people that's trying to get into the game. Because one thing I did run across is that I have games where I puff stomp the shit out of people. Like it's no, it's not even fun. And then I have games where I'm super sweaty and I'm trying hard. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like, it's like a worse version of Overwatch. At least in Overwatch, the characters, the way characters and comps and teamwork are made is that way. In this game, if you're just good, you're good which is something I like, but they need to kind of separate good players to have the center for the good players to keep playing because we keep post on people. We just gonna leave and say this game too fucking easy. Um, mm-hmm. And two, it the servers, some of the servers are lagging. Maybe it's my Xbox, but I'm wired and I was still lagging and I'm the only one in my apartment. So it, it, they need to kind of fix their servers a little bit. But other than that, I love the characters. I love that. I love that you can switch ultimates in this game. It's not only I can switch a character at any point in time. I can switch ultimates at any point in time to adjust to the situation. So I can keep a character, but one ultimate might be better than another. Um, for example, you have one dude where he has an ultimate. When he pops ult, he just gets shield. The more and more he hits you, the more shields he get. And then he has another one where it's like a Trendemere ult where he's just in vul- and vulnerable for five seconds he can't die so each situation you know each situation causes for different things so i like it 
but it is it needs a little bit more improvements. But it, it's it's an okay game. It's pretty good. I kind of I like it. I do it. Like the amount of different things you said just has me like, I, I'm, I'm. <laughs> I'll, I'll do a video on my channel about it probably tomorrow because I ain't gonna have shit to do before I do my art project. So I'll probably drop a video on it tomorrow just to show some of the gameplay. It, like it, it gets, guys, it gets complicated. It's like a fighting game. It's, it gets complicated. You guys like that segue? Got him to, <laughs> to boost his channel there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I want y'all to boost my channel. I mean, no, 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 no. He, he, he alley you. He alley you. That's what he's saying. Yeah, I got you. I got uh, uh, Joey, do you care about Bleeding Edge at all? Have you seen anything about it? Fuck no, baby. <laughs> uh, anything that says Xbox shitbox exclusive, I don't fucking. Here we go. <laughs> Bro, dude. Here we go. Ask PlayStation denied Bleeding Edge for being on the on there. He has yeah, only, Xbox. Don't listen. The only shit box exclusive Xbox. I care no, about. I, like, I, I just love when I love when PlayStation people talk and then they be completely wrong on why a game is not on PlayStation when PlayStation denied Bleeding Edge being on PlayStation. So yeah, blame PlayStation for that. <laughs> I didn't blame anybody for anything. Uh, I said I just don't give a shit about the game. So oh you're boy. taking it to a completely different aspect. Uh, I don't I don't like Xbox, bro. The only reason I have an Xbox is because Xbox has a game that I want to play and I don't have a PC no more or I just would have played it on that shit. Dad, they're fighting again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, because I'll switch it on and say the only reason I got a PS4 is because that's the only place to play fighting games. Other than that, I would rather be on my Xbox 100%. <laughs> I, I mean, cool. Xbox yeah. is trash. Oh, boy, get out of here. PlayStation is just not right. getting into a damn uh, uh, console war. We are not doing that. We're oh, not we, doing that. we ain't got to do that because at the end of the day, everybody know why PlayStation won is because they sucked dick and got console exclusives. And now everybody want to run and talk about PlayStation's the best. Like they forgot what the fuck happened a generation before. <laughs> bro, your whole fucking dashboard is gibberish, bro. That mm. shit is the most garbage shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh -huh. How is anyway, it going to take, me, no, gonna take me 15 minutes to figure out? The next thing I'm going to talk about today, out. the next Moving thing on, yeah, on this yeah, topic yeah, is on, Resident Evil on. 3 remake date released. Yeah, yeah. Well, Resident <laughs> Evil 3, for people who don't know, has a demo out. I, have, I got to download it. haven't played it yet. But uh, it has a release date and it has some. Uh, it drops next week. It drops next Friday. So, uh, given the uh, response to how good uh, Resident Evil Two was, I'm all for this because Nemesis shits on Mr. X in terms of who's the scarier one. So you know, and if uh, if this turns out well, I think we need to hurry up and get that code Veronica. Uh, they're not gonna do Code Veronica because they, they got need resistance. to do Code Veronica. I mean, it was on the PS2, so why the fuck not? Yeah, they're not exactly. gonna do it. it. Okay, so let me explain how Capcom is gonna fuck this up, right? Now, remember, we can go back three, four podcasts ago when I said the new wave of games are remakes, right? Yeah. Code Veronica. Okay. If this one does great, right? This one has to do do great. Which right now, Resident Evil 3 is looking like it's going to be a really good game. It's looking like it's going to be a really good game. They're going to fuck. They're going to have to rewrite the whole Cole Veronica story for it to fit in the newer generation. Because Cole Veronica's story was kind of confusing if you didn't play previous Resident Evils. You didn't understand what the fuck was going on. If, I agree with that. If anything, they need to remake Resident Evil 1. Again? That which is what. No, I mean like how they had two remade. They need to remake one like that. They'll okay. literally be the second remake because they remade okay. it for the GameCube. Okay, remake it again. Oh my god. That, well, <laughs> but AK, you got to understand, you can't get the story of you. Literally have to do that, and you will have to do the Chronicle version before you can even do Cold Veronica. You literally have four games to do. How? When well, Cold Veronica literally takes place right after, uh, right after Resident Evil Two. But you have to do Chronicles to talk about. Oh boy, I forgot the boy name. The irritating ass voice, dude. Fuck him. Um, I'd rather not. They're they're going to. I'm telling you, they're going to do Chronicles first, bro. I'm not even trying to be funny. Bro, gonna... Give me Cold Veronica. That's literally <laughs> one of the best Resident Evil games that ever were made. And the only way to play it now is like getting it on the PS3 
or emulator. going back or oh, going back to the game to the Dreamcast, which I am not doing. So that's the, that's the only Resident Evil I've ever played besides seven. You only I played, four. You, you I, played I played like Ooh. two hours of seven. You know what? I just thought about something. They might fuck around and remake four before they do that. Because mm-hmm. four is the that is the Resident Evil. Like Resident you, Evil Four is on everything. Like, uh, Red, you can play Resident okay, Evil. Okay, I mean, okay, peep this. <laughs> ain't Final, ain't Final Fantasy Seven on almost every system, and they got a remake. That's not helping your case. I don't like Final Fantasy Seven being on everything. Yeah, either do I. I love the Final Fantasy um, mm-hmm. series, but I think they're remaking Seven three hundred and forty three times. Is ugh. I mean, yeah, especially like when the last time we got eight. Right. They will never put. Okay, look. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Oh, I know. Please. I know. We said. I know. We said. Waiting so people. Um, please forgive us. I'm gonna tell you if they do remix, it's gonna be seven. It's gonna be six. They will go back and do six before they do eight. It will be I'd, ten. They I'd will, be okay. I'd be okay with that because I'm yeah. six doesn't have that many. Like it hasn't been made that many times. I'm six playing. It's only been remade once, and six right. is probably the best one. I think six is better than seven. So I'm playing eight right now on the on the PS4 because they have like you know they have like little Final Fantasy shit going on. I was like, oh, I bet I'm gonna buy this. Mm-hmm. But like, it would it I'm would cool look six. It I'm would cool literally six. go. Because that's what Final Fantasy about to do. They just about to do a whole bunch of remakes before they make six sixteen. It's gonna literally go seven six nine. And it's gonna be seven six ten nine eight. That's exactly how it's gonna go. Mark my words. Mark mm-hmm. my words on that. <laughs> Eh, I, I played the I played the uh, demo of seven. I wasn't impressed. It's okay, but eh. I think it's overhyped as well. Like I'm I'm a Final Fantasy fanboy through and through, but that game is it, dude. That's hyped even more than the Yankees are. Bro. I'm not I'm not gonna buy the game until we get the complete version. I'm not buying Epic Sonic Games to pay another sixty fucking dollar for the next fucking scene that we already know. And I think a lot of fanboys, just like Kojima fanboys, are dick riding right now. Oh, it's Final Fantasy is one of those games that you can't say anything bad about. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I, I talk. I talk shit about seven everybody all the just time. comes to agree that it's ass. The only time I've ever seen one that everybody agrees, yeah, this is pretty thirteen ass. to fifteen. Like thirteen, yeah, thirteen to fifteen. But like, at the I end like of the- lightning. I like lightning. I, I, I love. I love thirteen. I love fucking thirteen. I love thirteen. I love twelve. And those two get shit in on harder than any of the Final Fantasy. I'm like, those two are, especially twelve, are some of the best ones. It's just y'all didn't right. like the fucking I thought, system. I thought I was crazy. All right, cool. I like those two. Okay. Um, cool. uh, did you care about uh? Well, well, I guess everybody did talk about that. Um, <laughs> Animal Crossing. <laughs> Animal Crossing and Doom have came out this past week, and apparently there's a fan base that likes putting Isabel, the little puppy thing from uh Animal Crossing, and Doom guy. You know, the marine, space marine that kills everything from Doom. Apparently, those two's are best friends. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I've been whole- seeing that shit everywhere, dude. It, ca- it cracks me up, bro. Shit's funny it's as hell. It's funny as hell. Um, I, I just like the fact that it's uh, uh, and the developers are getting behind it. So if we can get a crossover between Unknown Two, that shit will be hilarious. So- uh, dude, are you dude fucking kill all the people in Animal Crossing and Doom? That'd be funny. <laughs> uh, speaking as uh, uh, having a new Animal Crossing fan in the household, Lisa's been addicted to that game since she bought it last week. So uh, I might dip my toe into it. I don't know. I'm buying it next week. Don't jump all the way in, AK. You might you might drown. Um, I said toe. I might dip my little toe in there. Um, uh, Skies, do you care about Doom or Animal Crossing or uh, the funny gifts and memes that Bro, they came The out? only thing I care about is the colors they made for the Animal Crossing Switch slap slap. The the Joy Con colors that, uh-huh. that's cool as fuck. The artwork on the outside of the fucking thing, I'm not too fond of. But if you give me a switch with them Joy Con colors, I'm about it. Neat. Uh, moving on, uh, Sega turns sixty. Damn, they old as fuck, bro. Yeah, Sega used to make uh, uh, trading cards and shit for uh, sailors way back before there was this Genesis or a Master System. Just like uh, Nintendo used to make uh, uh, gambling stuff before they became a game company. But yeah, Sega is 60. So anybody have any uh, memories of Sega that they want to talk about? Oh, I got, fun- I got a funny one for y'all. Go ahead, Chrono. So my first video game ever was Sonic 2. And at three years old, I got it on my birthday at three years old. 
And apparently, this was around the time where in Detroit people were getting kidnapped. And I started crying because I was playing Sonic 2. I was like, no, I want it now, I want it now. My mama beat my ass from hell and back, from the store to the car, to outside the house, to inside the house. And then y'all know how we talk about black families. If you get your ass by your mama, your dad is obligated to tag team. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, my dad didn't know what happened. He just walked in the house and heard, I heard tag. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and all you hear is JR in the back. Oh my god, he has a chair! Like, what did I do? But yeah. Uh, yeah. Happy, birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sega. Um, hopefully, your streets of rage is good. But yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I got my. I'm hope. I'm cautiously optimistic about that game. I want it to be good, but like. Given the state of how Remix has just been either really good or terrible, I don't know. Uh, it's hard to get Rabbit, you got any Sega memories? Uh, dude, uh, not like one in particular. It's just every time that I used to load up uh, uh, Sonic 2 and me and my little brother used to play that shit like crazy. Um, it just... Reminds me of that. I don't have a specific time. Just it's a bunch of times that just kind of blend together, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sky, you give a fuck about Sega? I mean, it was cool. I I had a Genesis back in the day. Um, I play. I think I played Contra on it. Um, Contra Hardcore. Just one of the best Contra man, games ever. Oh, mm-hmm. Name some other Sega games. I'm trying to think. Street of Rage, Sonic, Echo the Dolphin. Uh, I think I played. Perform I think down. I played the Sonic, but I need to like see the graphics to even like know if I did. I'm pretty sure. Are you talking I had about it. Dreamcast or are you talking about Genesis, Saturn? Which one? Genesis, I think. Uh, Vector Man, Primal Rage, Mortal mm-hmm. Kombat One with the blood. Yo, yo, them. NBA Jam. Oh my God! Yes. Do 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 do. do. He's on fire. <laughs> yeah, I, but I have one. Um, I definitely remember Contra. There was a couple other ones I have. I just can't fucking remember what they are because it was so goddamn long ago. Um, but it was cool. Um. You I mean, that was, that was, I mean, I think y'all know, I've said it multiple times, Contra is, like, one of my favorite games from, like, that era, so that's obviously going to be the one that I always go back to, but, mm-hmm. yeah, it was cool. I, I liked my Genesis while I had it. Mm-hmm. Well, um, my brother still has my uh, uncle's uh, Genesis from when he passed, and anybody who knows AK knows I love me some Sonic. And uh, a, a lot of that can be attributed to my uh, late uncle who passed back in 07. Uh, he was the one who we had a Super Nintendo. He had the Genesis. So the Genesis seemed like it was the adult console back in the day. I don't know why. It's just how that was. And then he had the Sega CD. And then my first time playing Mortal Kombat was with him. My first time playing Sonic was because of him. Uh so many memories uh, that are attached with Sega. I think that's the reason why I love Sonic so damn much because it just reminds me I'm a late uncle. But you know, I'm repeating myself. I'm gonna say this multiple times. Y'all already know. Yeah, it happens like that though, especially with uh, things that re- remind you of someone. It always holds a special spot, uh, a special spot in your heart for something like that. You know. Mm-hmm. Now, now I know Mr. Gotta Go Fast has had a pretty. A rocky career, but you know I'm always be with him until they pull the plug. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ow! Moving on, uh, Nintendo did a mini direct yes, oh two days ago, and uh, some of the highlights were um, we got another Smash character, uh, arms, arms, the uh, the uh, the uh, fighting game, uh, the where you would stretch your arms out and stuff, it's free actually on uh, Nintendo right now for like another ten days. So if ever, since all of us have switches, there literally is no reason for us not to play. Oh, I'm about to go download that right now. You should have told me that. Uh, arms is free. All of the uh, characters are free. It's like a trial. You can play literally everything about the game for a good. Mm, I'm gonna say a couple days. I I played the demo like crazy when we first bought Cam Switch. So yeah. A um, couple other things. Uh, Xenoblade is getting a remake. Uh, what else? Um, Talk to me when they bring out Chrono Trigger, man, because that shit needs a remake bad. 
Uh, another thing, they was talking about some more Animal Crossing news. There was some more Pokemon news uh, regarding uh, there's a new Pokemon that's going to be dropped when the uh, expansion drops in June. Oh. It's, uh, it's um, the, the grass dark one that's going to be in the movie. The Tarzan yeah. movie. No, no, it's, he's like a because in the expansion in June, you're gonna go to some type of island and it's like a dojo, and you get like a little panda looking Pokemon. And oh yeah, go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you go to the water gym, you get the water version of them. If you go to the dark gym, you get the dark version of them. Uh, that looks pretty dope. Uh, Animal Crossing, like I said, is getting some uh, other stuff uh for them uh, th- specifically for easter and then i want to say i want to say uh arbor day or something like that so yeah um that's all the stuff that really stood out to me but i'm glad that uh uh nintendo had had the balls to still come out and do something even though people were bitching that they didn't they had no direct until two days ago anybody care about anything i just said I mean, yeah, the Pokemon I, things works. I'm interested in the Pokemon thing. Orange is dope, but Orange should have been in the fucking game. I, mean, I, I would think that would have been the Spring first. Spring Man is a cis trophy in Smash, but like they're gonna they're gonna put old girl. They're gonna put the um female. The thick girl. Yeah, the thick girl on there. Like that, that's the only one I can see them putting on there that would make a hundred percent sense. But uh, other than that, they should have said they should. If they would have gave a hint more on who's going to be all the new Smash characters, like, okay, we got arms. These are the other three genres you can look at. Then I've been more hyped, but I can understand why they didn't do it because it's probably another Fire Emblem character. And we, Lord knows what happened the last time. Oh, um, you won't be able to play Bioshock and other games on uh, Switch now, too. I mean... I got Bioshock on my PC. I'm good. They just gave us Bioshock free on P4 like two months ago. So yeah, I'm good. The whole collection on P4. Yeah, so. it was. It's pretty dope. I like it. Mm. Oh yeah. Um, Rabbit, did you give a fuck about uh, the Nintendo Direct? Did you watch it? Did you see anything? I, nah, I, I'm not a. I don't, I'm not huge on the Nintendo. They literally the only game I have is Pokemon Sword. Um, not huge. I might get. Animal Crossing. I haven't made up my mind yet, but yeah. Do you at least play the old school Super Nintendo and Nintendo games on there? No. Oh, well, you need to download those two because you're paying for it anyway, so why the fuck not? Yo, but I have all these games on the PS4 now. You do not have Super Mario on the PS4. Stop it. No. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Um... And then, uh, like we just said, arms is free, which is a uh, fighter. You catch valid hands in that game. Literally. So, yeah, uh, we should all download that and play that. That would be dope. Moving on to questions. And we have about five of these joints. Most of them came from Gummy. So, uh, first one uh, I'm going to go into is going to be pretty light. Um, Everybody here is watching Naruto, at least the first uh, uh series of it not shooting in just the first one part one right the little kids okay so uh the question was posed from uh somebody on the youtube how do we feel i don't even know how we got here but like there was like sasuke versus neji part one only neji will win it's not even a question to ask i mean what what do you though yes like it's not even a question neji will win all the way up until sasuke learns the jidori then it's up in the air so, yeah. but okay, about when are we talking? No, we saying part. We saying part one. So we saying before he learned that. So because it's different no. versions of Sasuke in part one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because there's so yeah. many at the end of. I would say the end of part one, Sasuke would whip Neji's ass. Yeah. But if we're talking, 100%. if we're talking first school, um, Sasuke. First school, if, if, if we're talking school, right Sasuke. after the academy, bro, Sasuke is getting his ass. Yeah, yeah, because he couldn't even he couldn't even fuck with Lee at one point. Right. So, I mean, hey, y'all, hey, y'all sleeping on Lee like Lee a yeah, bum. Lee, Rock, Lee, Rock, Lee, 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 I, I uh, just please. started Shippuden, so I I think Rock Lee has higher potential than what everyone's giving him credit for. Um, my, my but, um, to me, to me, like I was saying, all the way up until um, what AK said when Sasuke learns Chidori. After that. He, Neji's getting his fucking shit beat. Okay, are we talking about anime? Are we? Are we talking about 
anime. Anime. Sasuke, or we, okay, okay, manga. yeah. I'm about to say because manga Neji, he was beating Sasuke ass through and through. It wasn't even no question to ask. Anime no. Neji. No. Yeah, you're right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a poke a hole in that. Neji almost died to that spider nigga in that forest, right? True, true. Sasuke will whoop that nigga's ass at the end of motherfucking Naruto. Don't but, even get me started. But the thing <laughs> is, though, the thing is, certain people are stronger against certain things. True, that is the thing. Sasuke will swap a hands with all four of them before he got captured. Neji was swapping hands with the motherfuckers before he. Neji you swapped hands with one of them. Keyword one. But you got okay, and this is the thing too that I think people get. We never would. I don't think we saw Neji at full potential. I think he died before he even got to full potential. Shut up, bro. You, he, he had the scenes for Man. Man. Damn. Oh, well, literally said now. part well, one. You want some happy, birthday. Happy, birthday <laughs> happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay, I, I apologize. Uh. That's why we said part one. God, you know? um, just acting like do me, I didn't. Do me, a, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Can you, can you do me a huge favor? Can you take your uh, headphones off or whatever? No. <laughs> okay, so I can, can I speak my piece? I say no. hi. Okay. We're talking about part one only. Man, okay. Gotta, gotta, okay, gotta, part, gotta, one, gotta, part one. Part one. My, my, my money's on edgy. Through and through. Part one, everything up until Sasuke gets that black outfit is uh, Neji. After Sasuke gets that black outfit and steals yeah. uh, steals Rock Lee's so, so, speed and uh, gets the Chidori, then it's it's. So okay. as he go to the hood. I would say I would say first first half um, Neji, last half uh, Sasuke. I agree. Okay, uh, moving on. Good next talk. question. Next question. Um, what was the Pokemon you started with first in the OG, oh, and then oh. Red and Blue, and then what's the Pokemon you started off with in Sword and Shield since ever all of the nerd boys happened? And that's from another YouTube comment. Okay, uh, I'll go first because my shit is always the same. You know how Shofu always starts off with a fire type. Mm -hmm. I always start off with a water type. So OG was Squirtle because Blastoise has always been my one of my favorite Pokemon. And I got fucking Inteleon because he holds the Blicky. He got the Blicky on his hand. He definitely if got some see, 007 action going. If you see his animation when he's Inteleon and he shoot Hydro Pump and he point at you, the bitch shoot. <laughs> like, yeah. It definitely looks like a, a spirit. You mean Sobble? Yeah, yeah Sobble. Yeah. You talking about Inteleon as in the last. Yeah, know. as the last evolution. <laughs> uh, Rabbit? Uh, so. Uh, the new one I picked Raboot because you know I saw Barney and he breeds fire. There ain't no bet nothing better than that. I got super excited. I didn't even look at the other two Pokemon to be honest with you. I just saw, <laughs> yeah, I just saw I just saw a fucking fire bunny. I was like, that's my that's my dude right there. That's that's my guy. That's my guy. Um, in the first ones, I like to switch it up. I really didn't have a favorite in, in the in the first generation. I liked all three of the of the Pokemon. I used to start over. Me and my brother had. Um, I think the first gen was the best set of starters that's ever been. Yeah. Me and my. Uh, uh, I think third gen. I think third gen, bro. Yeah, third all, gen. all three. Third gen, no. all three of them. Third gen, all Wait, three. What do you mean? Are you talking about? Are you talking about? Uh, Blaze the Ken. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Blaze yeah, the Ken. All, all of those definitely slap. I'm like, I'm Blaze, so happy with Blaze the old generation. One of my best, my favorite. I just so, like. I don't like the only gen. That was oh, the only time I started with a grass one was third gen. And I, yeah, true. Uh, same, 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 same. The same. furthest I got was to the uh, Chikorita generation. The third gen. The Is third it? Gen. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't. That's that's the one I didn't really like. Um, <laughs> but I know. Um, oh, dude, me and my brother used to restart all the time, catch a bunch of stupid ratatats, and then trade the starter Pokemon for them so we could have all three starters in our in our starting Pokemon. Yo, y'all remember, not to uh, cut it off, y'all remember the cheat code you do right before it saved, you cut it off and back on, you had to get Pokemon? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I never did that, no. Or the uh, the infinite uh, Master Ball cheat from back in the day? Mm -hmm. Yep. You never um, did that. You, go, you went to your, okay, not to cut this off, here go a Nerd Boy special. If you have the OG Pokemon, go to your box, go to box 10. If the duplicate items in Pokemon, you put an item on a Pokemon and you send them to that box, the game will save. As soon as it says save and do not turn it off, turn it off and turn it back on. And Pokemon was caught every time with, with the item. Mm -hmm. 
and there wasn't no patches back then, so that was just mm-hmm. hardwired in there. Um, old school. Um, I bounce between Charizard and uh, Blastoise. So I like Charizard. both. I like both of them equally. I didn't really give a fuck about Venusaur, to be honest with you. Um, newer gen, I started with uh, Score Bunny because I'm a basic fire bitch. And, uh, but, uh, I do like, uh, the grass one. I think I want to get one of those is even though there's no fucking GTS on sword and shield. That's I so got dumb. it, brother. I got, I got it, brother. It. Yeah. I got all the starters and, and, and I got a ditto for the Masudo. Mm-hmm. Hey, we don't, we don't, I, I got a shiny croaky, so I'm good. We don't. <laughs> We don't do any of that bullshit around this these parts. Y'all need to shut shit. Man, shut up with your level thirty Pokemon head ass. Yeah, also, I don't, I don't shout play out it very to much. the best You're starter true. ever, which was Typhlosion. Fight yeah. me! I don't give a fuck. Yeah. That was my no, no, very. No, 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 he's favorite. speaking. He's speaking facts. He's that speaking. is my I mean, favorite starter is, of all time. He is the, the, cool, he is the coolest looking for sure. I've actually never had Typhlosion. No, y'all are tripping. The best cool not- looking? Cool Coolest looking? looking? No! You got Greninja, you blazing. Did, did you hear the, no, did Greninja you hear is the cool. fuck I said? No, Greninja is cool. I give you that. Did Greninja you hear is the cool. Fuck I said? But Blaziken, it started that whole firefighting yeah. uh, thing. We literally yeah. had three yeah. gens of firefighting after which was yeah. so I can't, Which was so I, so I can't bro. really like give him that. Like, he started my bullshit. Did, did Blaziken is hear, my dog, and I love his like uh, mega. I, I, I got a I got a shiny Torchic on Pokemon Go, bro, and now he's a shiny Blaziken. I've never yeah, been happy. Bro, holy on. I, I, do, I don't play anything past three. I, it's not my thing, but Typhlosion is my favorite cool looking Pokemon. So it's you can, so you That's can, the worst set of starting Pokemon hang, ever. Bro! What? Bro! Toad out of here! Toad out of here! To- no, no, no. I'm not talking. Listen, I'm not talking about. Because I love Totodile. Totodile is one of my favorite starters. Like, all the water starters are my favorite. Mine is Samurai. I fucking hate Samurai. That's the ugliest looking fucking starter ever. But if we talk about viability, Gen 2 was the weakest one. It was the weakest one, especially fucking Bayleaf. Me- Nobody gives a fuck about Bayleaf. Nobody talks about Bayleaf. What did she Nobody do? Nobody gives a fuck about Chikorita. But I mean, we're going to sit up here at like uh, black and white and have some weird ass looking starters. Which, which one was black and white? That was Samurai. The That's why I said Snivy Samurai was trash. And the pig. Snivy was straight. Snivy was straight. Them was trash, bro. Snivy is straight. Straight, I'm good on the grass snake, bro. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> the other two um, is bad. Go ahead. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, moving on. Uh, last question I'm gonna get into this week because I'm gonna just get this over with, so then we can move on and not have to talk about it anymore. How do you guys feel about the simp culture and whether you agree or disagree with the simp culture? I got it. I got okay. it. Uh, let me explain. Let me explain. Yes, I bought Belle Delphine's bathwater. Thank you. Let me explain for the people who don't understand. A simp is somebody who would, you know, pay for a $50 a month OnlyFans or buy everything on her Amazon wish list or spend... Buy her bath water. Buy her bath water or stuff like that. And apparently it's been a... I've been calling it the rise of the beta male because apparently uh, these Twitch streamers... Look, if you get if you can get some money by having idiots pay for you, I don't give a fuck. I, I'm okay. not one of these idiots that's mad at they're taking oh they're taking views away from my stream. Like no they won't. Bro. Okay, let me You have like me, two followers, no you won't. Uh <laughs> let me let me start it off because I want to extend on it. So simp culture was already a thing. It started with e-girls. If you don't know what an e-girl is, just look up e-girl on YouTube. You see a whole Cam bunch of Twitch Loda. This shit, mm-hmm. this shit is getting deep. <laughs> yeah, oh, I don't give a fuck. Uh, you see a whole bunch of uh, girls showing their titties on Twitch and shit like that. You know, it is what it is. You know, make your money. Um, silk culture has blown up because of a girl on Twitter playing the most cringiest song. That OK Boomer song I sent y'all. Oh my yeah. god. The cringiest song, she looked cringy as hell, and little girls are on this chat. I mean, little girls, little boys are on this chat talking about something, what that smell like. Like, this motherfucker is an unforgettable video, yo. Yikes. So, um, basically, when she said she had a boyfriend, people were trying to get her banned off of Twitter, uh, trying to get her YouTube banned, trying to get her Twitch banned, 
and the simp culture has it's it's a lot of YouTubers just it's it's money it's money on YouTube. So uh, I'll let y'all go and then I'll go on mine because I kind of brung it up like two weeks ago. We just like we weren't gonna talk about it, but I guess now it's a thing. So uh, sky, uh, sky, yeah. I mean, people are acting like this is a new thing. There's been, There's not. Uh, I mean, I mean, holding is a yeah, whole thing like, on like, a motherfucking like, Pornhub. Then I like, watch there's, it. There's, there's dudes that literally let other men fuck their wives and watch. I've like, been approached yeah. in a bar because of that before. Yeah, <laughs> like, like this ain't new, bro. Like, like that, that, that's all I gotta say. Like, I mean, it is what it is. People are always gonna do it. There's some weird ass motherfuckers out there. Um, have I dropped a five ball for an OnlyFans on a sexy bitch before? Hell yeah. I mean, like, I, you didn't catch me red handed, but don't check my bank records. <laughs> Look, like I said, I don't think five dollars is bad. It, it, like, I, like I said before we started recording the podcast, this is levels to the shit. Like, yeah, there is levels. A, a, like a one month five, five ball, to, yeah, to see, to see what that coochie be on. I mean, don't check my bank. Spending like ten dollars on a premium snap, snap or whatever, I, I guess. But like anything more than an electric bill, you crazy, bro. Anything more than uh two large pizzas from Pizza Hut, you you, you, you bugging, bro. Like what, what what are you doing? <laughs> if you spend forty balls on a video. You need to take that 40 balls and just go get you a prostitute. Cause you exactly, suck. bro. <laughs> Oh, go to the bro, you can get something. flights to you can get flights to Vegas and like compliment complimentary prostitutes right now. For real, for that same price, that same exact price. That's crazy. You definitely can get a, a, a thirty dollar plane ticket to Vegas, right? Yeah, you've you been quiet, man. Y'all won't fucking let me talk, y'all loud ass motherfucking. No, anyway, shut up, bitch. Um, <laughs> dude, I, I I've never spent no money on only fans. Um. But you gotta do, you gotta do, dude. Check my bank records. I'll give you for the past seven yeah, years. Yeah, we you up on Twitter. So shut up. I, cut me how because I like the girl's sweet that she yeah, happens to have be OnlyFans. On this OnlyFans bitches fucking shit every fucking day. Every time I load, you let rabbit Twitter, talk. Every I know, time I load really up my Twitter, speak. rabbits on her on her uh, comments. Speak. Let Joey's talk. just trying to hate because Joey's been caught four or five times, bro. I don't have, dude. Check my bank records. I ain't got shit on there, bro. Come at me. Right, yeah, exactly. Right. Shut your face up, ho. Um. <laughs> I've never, I've never once spent money to see some, some OnlyFans girls. But hey, if that's you, bro, that's you. But if she got a boyfriend and you want to be a bitch and try to get her banned, you a bitch. Like for real, like she just trying to, she's just out there trying to make her living the best she can, bro. Don't fucking hate on her because she have a boyfriend, bro. You an idiot. Go get yourself a girlfriend. The fuck. Go quarantine with someone. Who? Damn. They can't. They too strapped. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it's just it is it is what it is bro like girls are gonna do what they're gonna do and then you know you got these stupid ass males trying to act like the, their money is gonna have these bitches love them bro your money people who are following them. people the people who are following the titty streamers are not gonna follow you stop it bro right <laughs> oh, wait wait i'm about to go in i'm gonna wait go ahead, Corona. Go ahead. I'm done. okay listen you know what's cringier than the simps the people that can keep making videos on The Sims. Like, yeah. that is even more cringier to me because here's my thing. I'm, I'm not a simp. I'm not a fucking simp. But every man at some point in their life did fucking simp. I'm sorry. You don't pay for pussy one way or another. You don't pay for pussy at one point or another. To fuck to fuck. So, whether this, that's paying a hundred dollar uh, bill on at Red Lobster or whether that's you paying a hundred dollars to watch for them nails. Mm -hmm. uh, or whether that's uh, you paying money on a Snapchat, like you paid for a bitch at one point in time. Excuse my friend. No, like I, like we saying, there's levels to this shit. Now, when you buying people bath water because you think she gonna fuck you, you that's not simping. You just fucking weird. Yes. Would, that's like people that's buying Erica Badu fucking pussy incense. What the fuck is y'all doing? Like that's weird. That's they wanna weird. they wanna smell <laughs> it. They wanna smell it. <laughs> Cause they can smell it, like no, <laughs> they can smell it looking at us. Look out of here, dog. Like, bro, and then here's my thing. Here's my thing. I like, I get YouTubers. I, I think people, as a YouTuber, I think y'all don't understand. YouTubers will say anything to get fucking views. 
Facts. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee your favorite YouTuber got a fucking OnlyFans page. I guarantee you one of your favorite YouTubers ain't even fucking got a girlfriend but want to make cringy ass videos about simps while they're simping themselves. Like, the shit, the whole situation is fucking cringy. And this shit all started over, okay, little man. Like, over and a cringy ass fucking all that song. Cute, to be honest with you, bro. She yeah, looked basic ugly. as fuck. She ugly as fuck. Like, yes, I'm woman bashing. Yeah, y'all gonna hate me. That chick was ugly as fuck. Like, I wouldn't touch her with a 20 foot pole. And I get, I got 10 inches. I wouldn't touch her with my 10 inches. Fuck out of here. Oh that shit my God. God. Okay. Okay. I didn't um, even know that. Jesus, I'm, I'm playing. playing. I'm 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 playing. i am playing 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 i am I think y'all forget that simps are going to continue to simp if they get attention. If I get attention on Twitter, I train people come to my Twitter. I see the video that they come from. I'm going to keep fucking simping. It's that fucking simple. Like, come on, bro. And I, I didn't even mean to do that, but simping simple, you get it. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh, second and last thing on the... Uh, I think this applies to pretty much everything, but Nintendo Switch has been hit hard with it because I think a lot of their uh, parts have been, you know, produced in China. You cannot find a Nintendo Switch right now. Uh, they've been sold out pretty much everywhere. I'm glad I got mine when I did, uh, but uh, they're, they're are hard to find and people are uh, reselling them for absorbent prices. I know I've seen one on eBay. It wasn't even like a... Uh, a uh, limited edition one. There was one on eBay going for like a uh, thousand bucks, and it was just a Switch Lite. So yeah, um, people who uh, scout for shit, y'all are assholes. And fuck they're you. The same, they're the same people that uh, uh, do tickets like that. That I've been seeing people selling uh, toilet paper on eBay for absorbent prices. Actually, people on Amazon been getting their shit banned because they've been doing that shit. So. If you one of those assholes that do that, please go kill yourself. Go drink some bleach. Uh, Sky. Well, damn. He said me right back. Uh, rabbit. Um, yeah, what you said. Yeah, I agree. I I think it's stupid. Like, I understand that people are trying to make uh, you know, some money with this, but like the fact that you're doing it at a time where it's crucial to everyone. Like, first of all, why you need that much fucking toilet paper, and, and then you're gonna try to sell it for that much money, and then. Really, you're gonna buy a Switch Lite for two hundred dollars, sell for a thousand, bro. You're greedy as fuck. Like, money has made this world a horrible fucking place, and it's 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 heartbreaking, bro. It's heartbreaking. Uh, uh, Chrono. I mean, first of all, let's get this out the way. Switch has won the console war, regardless of what anybody wants to say. Oh, it's definitely going to be winning. Yeah. yeah. Pretty oh, good. yeah, do it. Like, Animal Crossing and Pokemon. Yeah, that shit's going to be. Yeah, so that, yeah. Like, let's yeah. get that out the way first. Second of all, I'm not shocked that people are doing this right now. I'm far from shocked that people are doing this right now. People are exploiting toilet tissue, toiletries, and stuff right now. So why would. I don't know. I feel like, like, like I said, um, this goes to show how ill prepared and how willing people are to fuck people over in this generation with this pandemic going on. So, yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, it like if if times was normal, like I don't like ticket scout uh, ticket scalpers as much as the next guy because especially you know like you're just trying to take your son out to a basketball game and uh, they are sold out and you just don't want to tell them, hey, we can't go today because your dad's an idiot and didn't buy them beforehand. And then some guy comes out, hey, if you got 500 bucks, I'll give you these two tickets. Now, if I buy them, I'm just an idiot. But in a time of crisis, all that shit goes out the window. I I, I like people who have a hustle mentality to a certain extent. Like we were saying with the whole simping thing, it's levels to this shit. Like, why the fuck are you buying 500 rolls of toilet paper? For what? For what? Because then- Corona gives you diarrhea! And Look, then, I, and then, I mean, I, uh, if, given my job, I, uh, I deal with Costco with uh, them on my job. There were people trying to return the toilet paper because they couldn't didn't have enough space to put it in there. Like so, which goes to show people don't people panic and do dumb shit. Which I mean, that's 
given a given, but go ahead, Kwame. Costco keep the cost low. That's why they did that. Yeah. But no, uh, <laughs> Oh well, I was about to say I made a whole joke about I made a whole joke about people that bought the toilet tissues. They're making a circle like off of SpongeBob on the campfire. They're making a circle so the Corona can't come through. It's gonna point at them like Squidward. <laughs> that's what I, that's the only reason I can see them buying that man. Like there is no reason to be buying all this toilet tissue, man. How much? How much are you shitting? Like, come on, bro. Like, what the what fuck was y'all wiping your ass with beforehand? Like what? Yo, Were y'all just not wiping your asses? Like I don't get that. Man, this guy thirty years of ass crusting and shit. Like, come on, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> I'd have been through snowstorms, uh, floods. I'd have seen people with like hurricanes and tornadoes, and I've never heard anybody talk about all oh, they're out of toilet paper. That's the last thing people buy in crisis and stuff, which goes to show the people are doing this shit never been through anything. Mm-hmm. Y'all see that video of that lady that's fighting? She's like, I just want one piece of tissue. <laughs> like, she did all that fight for no fucking reason. <laughs> no reason. Uh, well, moving on to the second and last thing TikTok uh, has been exposed for deleting people's channels who are quote unquote ugly, poor, or live in uh, low income households. Um, This was <gasps> brought up. This was brought up on the Breakfast Club. This was brought up on uh, uh, an article I got linked in the chat. Um, yeah. I'm not surprised because people always want to have a certain uh, demographic uh, that they want to appeal to. Uh, but, you know, like TikTok is like the reinventation for like, I, I can't talk today. It's the, re, it's the new version of Vine. And Vine had literally everything on it. And like I think of it as uh, YouTube's little brother. Literally anybody can make a video and just put it up there. So the fact that they're not promoting anybody they think is quote unquote ugly is just stupid to me. Rabbit, you are a resident TikTok guy. How do you feel? I do. My shit didn't get deleted, so I'm sexy as fuck. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I uh, dude, I think TikTok's funny. Like, it, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter if they're ugly, big, fat. Uh, looks like they're fucking in a trailer tra- trailer park. Yo, if your TikTok, if your TikTok is funny, I'm watching that shit. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. But I think it's. I think they're doing it because like, think about it. Everything in this world is all about looks and how something appeals to you. So of course they're gonna want the better looking people on those pages for that. Right. Uh Rano. Man, that shit need to be deleted. Fuck TikTok. <laughs> Delete that cringy ass shit, bro. What <laughs> y'all are weird. Every time I watch a TikTok meme, it's some weird shit. It's like somebody famous did something and then the cool people do it and then the people that can't hold a rhythm come on there and just fuck the world up. Like shit no, is I, I, I think I think TikTok you be watching the wrong ever ones, seen. bro. I, I'd be seeing I see a lot of a lot of different shit from a lot of different people, and the people I don't I watch aren't even famous, bro. I mean, and then you got well, I'm about to go on. And you got other people that I think the reason why it's being done there was a I don't know if you guys know there was a little boy explo- explo- uh, exploiting this homeless guy where he was getting his views by just acting like he was feeding him food, but everybody kept catching on. It was the same homeless guy, the same homeless guy. Oh and wow! You had to do acting like. Like the shit was weird. It was like super fucking cringy. I was like, that they do anything for clout, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't watch. Like, I gotta, I gotta think it's funny, and I don't. Yeah, I, I'm pretty picky. So if I think it's funny, it's not that bad. So that's that's just how I look at it. Like, I I don't try to look at those stupid ass videos. But if if it, if it catches my eye within the first five seconds, bro, I'll, I'll see I'll see what it has to offer. Oh, also follow my guy Coman on. Uh... His TikTok, um, uh, I think it's like rub my belly or some shit like that. He's hilarious. Uh, the funniest one he ever did was uh, he basically did the Avatar intro, and uh, uh, Mr. Clean was the Avatar. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, it, uh, he had he said it was scrubbing bubbles, pine saw, Clorox, and something else. And uh, he made uh, it's it's funny as fuck. Just go follow my guy. Also. Um, I, I'll say this, and then we'll move on. 
if you don't think that other uh companies do that you're just stupid because like this is not new it's just tiktok got exposed that's all they were one of the few people to actually get exposed but we all know how this youtube shit goes only a certain only people who already have all the views are the people who get promoted they mm-hmm. hardly ever promote anybody who's small the same thing is with twitch the same thing is with what's the other one uh what's uh, the other mixer? one that's on? Mixer, the same thing with Twitter. It is is whoever's popular, the rich get richer and, and the poor get poorer. That's already is already the way that is. Yeah, we knew about that already though. I'm not surprised at all. Well, um Skies died, apparently. So um No, I didn't. I said I'd be right back and then I said <laughs> back, bro, in the fucking chat. <laughs> um how do you feel about the whole TikTok thing and uh what was the last uh the switch being sold out um as far as tiktok uh, you you hit the nail on the head when you said the rich get richer and the poor get poorer um i mean they're trying they're trying to feed the people who are feeding them but not allowing people to develop it's like it's like the same shit is like um you know growing on twitch or growing on youtube or something like that you can put in years of fucking work to grow to a point where like you got some viewers you know like and unless you're selling out it's not it's not there's no fast and easy way to this yeah exactly so um you know i i don't promote it i think this is just another reason why um i won't really fuck with tiktok um i mean i got it on my phone there's like one guy i follow and he's fucking hilarious but he's the type of guy which is a down-to-earth guy the only reason he does tiktoks is because i think he downloaded it i think he downloaded it as a joke and then his shit hit and he's just hilarious so um yeah i mean it is what it is i mean tiktok is like the new vine if you really look at it yeah but yeah I, ne- I never fucked with vine either that's the thing vine never is hilarious there's a lot of vine people on, on tiktok well, yeah duh. yeah uh-huh. What are your thoughts of the Switch being sold out and people uh, uh, selling them for crazy prices? Bro, oh. it's it, it's the same dude that bought 17,000 bottles of, or 7,000 bottles of hand sanitizer or whatever. Like, it's the same type of people who go and wait in line for sneakers and then sell them on fucking Go or, or fucking whatever the other one is um, for fucking two grand, you know? It's, it's fucking retarded. Like, it's dumb. Like... Hey, um, but to be fair, that dude's waiting in line for some shoes. He's not just buying this shit and going home. He's actually doing some work for that. These guys are just going he, to the he store. He is doing some work for that. I Like Aaron said, I respect people who have hustle and shit like that. But, bro, if the MSRP is this number, bro, I'm not paying more. Look, I'm if not. somebody is dumb enough to pay for it and this shit like shoes, I don't care. But if we're in a crisis or something that's essential for living, like toilet paper, that's just dumb. It's like I said, like I just said, it's levels to this shit. Yeah. People went from level one to five thousand. Like Man, put, what? That shit was tripping. All right. Well, I think that's uh, everything we got so far. As I stated at the beginning, there will not be a nerd boys next week because I have to put Dove Soap into action. Uh, I, I am so so done with you. So done <laughs> oh with you. Oh my god. Uh Lisa's birthday is next week and I don't at all feel like she already her birthday already got canceled because of the whole T virus shit. So uh T virus. Okay, <laughs> um uh so we were originally planning on going to Vegas, but that got shut down. So I'm gonna plan on just um if she uh, Whatever, fuck it. I'm planning on doing a candlelight dinner with the flowers and everything. For and you're gonna be eating dessert too. A lot oh, of course. Of, I mean, I, I do that on Thursday. Either of you. Either of you. <laughs> I, 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 I'm on my Kevin Gates shit. I don't get tired. Um. Yeah. So no uh, podcast next week. We might just do a live stream of us just playing Uno or something, just so we have some content for the channel. But uh, don't don't uh, hold me to that. So yeah, we'll drop. We'll probably drop a video or something in the middle of the week or something. We'll figure it out. We'll figure something out. Maybe even if it's just like a movie review or some shit. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, rabbit. Yeah. What? Outro. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yo yo, we appreciate you listening. We had fun, and uh, if we don't see you uh, during a live stream, we'll, we'll see you. You know, in a couple weeks when all of us are back and ready for action, and maybe the corona will be gone. 
Hopefully. Nope. Yeah, it's fucking with my money flow, bro. Uh, Not Scott, mine, bro. You're talking. Anyways, um, thanks for listening, guys. Um, as always, we appreciate you. Keep in touch with us. Um, you know, we're just trying to provide some content. Obviously, things are crazy right now. If there's anything you guys want to see from us or hear from us, obviously, let us know. Questions, whatever, topics, um, you know, all that shit. Just let us know. Get get in tune with us. Anyways, um, you know, a.k.a. Weatherman J, out. Uh, Chrono. All right, this has been Nappy, a.k.a. The Pokemon Master, because I'm I literally just be Pokemon while we was doing the podcast. Uh, <laughs> other than that, no, I'll see you guys on the Nappy Head Millie channel. I will be dropping the Resident Evil restrict. I about to say restriction, uh, resistance video. It'll already be up by the time y'all hear this. But other than that, you know, come back, come laugh with us. Tell us what y'all think of the content and what more can we do so we can improve what this content. What more do you want from me? That's how I feel right now. We on our time shit. So uh, let us know. This is the week. We'll take the week to go ahead and figure out how we can adjust the content on our side. Other than that, peace. And like I said, AK from the Nerd Boys podcast. Uh, y'all be safe out there. Real shit. We've been joking and stuff. Um, we've been joking and stuff for a while, but please listen to the goddamn quarantine. Please. Keep your motherfucking asses inside. Exactly. Please. If you ain't going You're to work. You're not my dad. If you ain't going to work or you ain't buying some groceries or you're not visiting a loved one, please stay y'all monkey asses at home. And that's all I got to say. Hey, hey, hey. Don't make me have to cut y'all out again. Yo, I swear to God, yo, like, uh, Dad Chrono was in fact in effect in that video. But uh, this is episode 22 of the Nerd Boys podcast, and we out of here. Peace. Bye.